Welcome to the Comics History Guys comic book review. Today we're going to take a look at the latest um, entry in the original Sin crossover. Today it is Thor and Loki, the 10th realm number one. It's part of a five issue miniseries featuring Thor and Loki. And on the cover here we see Loki, uh, his mom Freya, and a fierce looking woman with a weapon. Uh, if you're following the news at all about Marvel, Original Sin, Thor, Loki, you already know that this is their long-lost sister, Angela. And the interesting thing is she's not originally a Marvel Comics character. She was originally uh, came out in Spawn number 9, way back when, in Image Comics. Her owner, creator, Neil Gaiman, uh, sold her lock, stock, and barrel to Marvel. And while she previously appeared in Age of Ultron number 10 a year ago in June of 2013, this is really her coming out party, so to speak. So uh, if you're following Original Sin, which we are, we know that the Eye of the Watcher has released secrets upon the world. And Thor is finding out that he has a sister. He's heading off to Asgard to see what's going on with that. Um little uh, splash page here where Marvel sums up what's going on for those who are not familiar with uh, Thor, Loki, or Original Sin. And we see that the writers are Jason Aaron and Al Ewing. Art is by several people. Lee Garbett, Simone Bianchi, and then the covers by Dale Kiln and Jason Keith. Cover is quite good. The interior art is quite not as good as the cover art, which is kind of like a bait and switch but anyway so Thor comes in bursts into a meeting mom's having with some elf looking people and Thor is unhappy um long story short they get into the wares uh, and wherefores of this alleged sister Freya says no there is no sister and then there was a sister but she saw her die and then we get into the whole business there flashback time Odin is getting medieval on some angels uh if you know anything about angela she's part angel so it all kind of fits won't get into the details here because you know it ruins things but thor is ticked unleashes some cosmic power and ooh, hey it's loki so there's a convoluted story here involving the old loki which is from the future um and literally he's old look at his face got kind of crusty looking uh marks on him there he's old and we don't really don't see the asgardians get old so how far in the future he is though this is a classic loki pose uh and there's a young loki involved here who kind of looks like uh a kid um his horns haven't gotten haven't reached puberty yet apparently so um my only real question here and i have not followed the thor loki storyline for a while so this is all a bit new to me i'm here because of original sin loki sounds like he's written like he is an american teenager in a burger joint well wow. so i don't know maybe he's been shrunk down to a small human size small american size so anyway they team up thor and loki to go searching for this fabled sister they steal dad's ride Sounds more or more like a Happy Days episode. And then they kaboom, go through some cosmic stuff. And here is the art by Bianchi, which is a little bit different than the rest of the book. And they don't know where they are. And then we end up with some advertisements. Oh, there she is, the sister. And Loki, old Loki, seems to know something. Mwahaha, <laughs> mischievous fellow, isn't he? Then we end with the cover for Original Sin, number Thor and Loki, the Tenth Realm, number two, which is the other half of the bifurcated Angela, a ticked off looking Thor, an unhappy looking Odin. One nice thing I, I'm glad about this, actually, is that when first I heard that the Original Sin was going to involve Thor having this sister, I'm thinking, oh, Odin was off traipsing about sowing his wild Odin oats. But it turns out that it's uh, a child he had with his wife. So he's still an honorable fellow as far as we know. Though in the real world, the Norse gods didn't too much care for their marriage vows. But Odin 
Maybe this is Marvel. So anyway, so apparently this may really be Thor's blood sister and Loki's actual, well, half, step, slash, adopted sister. So um, I'm kind of curious as to what happens. Uh, this is actually going to be a big, big deal for the Marvel Universe and the whole Asgardian pantheon in Marvel if they really do have a sister. And from what it sounded like inside the book, she might be the eldest child of Odin and Freya, which would make her the heir. Ooh, interesting. Sound like something Loki would have devised, the old Loki. Anyway, um, if you're following Thor, if you like Loki, or you're interested in this uh, original Sin storyline, which is why I'm here, or you like uh, Angela from Image Comics and Spawn, uh, Check this book out. Uh, the art inside is not bad. It just is not as good as what I'm seeing on the front here. All right. So if you want to catch our reviews uh, on a regular basis, hit the subscribe button. Uh, and we'll see you in the future with the future Loki, perhaps. Thank you. Bye.